Good morning to all. This is Nasim Kayum, Assistant Professor at the Department of Engineering Sciences, AISSMS Institute of Information Technology. So today we are going to discuss about nuclear power plant. It's working principle, the description, and its parts. And finally, we will conclude with its advantages and disadvantages. So these are my contents in nuclear energy. I'm going to do a brief introduction about the topic and its representation and the its components and its energy conversions and the advantages and disadvantages and the location of thermal nuclear power plants. So introduction, it utilizes energy which is produced by nuclear reactions by fission. So basically nuclear power plant it works on the nuclear fission reaction. So what is nuclear fission reaction in the sense when a, when a nuclear atom converts into its multiple phases, one, uh, two or three, and that two or three will bombarded with each other where it will uh, release a huge amount of energy. So uh, a nuclear reactor substitute boiler of thermal power plant. So where in, uh, you can see that in thermal plant, plant, we are using a boiler, whereas in nuclear power plant, we are using a nuclear reactor. This is the main difference between them. So heat produced in the nuclear reactor by a process of fission carried on radioactive materials. Generally, we will use radioactive materials as uranium, plutonium, and thorium. So these are the if they are atomic numbers, uh, uranium-235, plutonium-239, and thorium-232. These are generally used materials or elements to for carrying out nuclear fission reaction. So due to consuming resources of fossil fuels and their increasing cost, this PP may be demanded source in the future. This power plant may be demanded source in the future. So while coming to its representation, as I told, uh, it, it consists of a nuclear reactor and a steam generator and a turbine and a condenser and a pump. Whereas, if you see, when, 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 the, when we compare this with the thermal power plant, we will be having a boiler. In place of boiler, we are having a nuclear reactor. Where in nuclear reactor, we will be having a, a, these are the connecting rods or fuel rods. This is the thermal shield. Why? Because it will develop a lot of heat. So, so we have a good shield here. And also we are supplying coolant. This is the concrete shield. So when nuclear, uh, when in the fuel rods, when we fill the uh, radioactive material with the help of nuclear fission reaction, it develops a lot of heat. That heat we can use to generate the steam. So if we generate steam, that super saturated, super heated steam will in turn be connected to turbine where it expands and which in turn connected to a generator. So that's why in that way we can produce electricity. And again, the wastewater can be condensed to, which can be sent back to generator with the help of a pump. So this is the basic representation of a nuclear power plant. And again, the same one you can see here, or reactor and control rods and this is the rigid structure and pump where here in the reactor we will fill our radioactive materials and from here we will develop a superheated steam or a large amount of heat will carried out large amount of temperature from here superheated steam will come and it hits the turbine blades from there we can expand our work and again, with the help of cooling tower, we can condense the remaining steam, which can be circulated back to the steam generator. Well, coming to its components, basically it, it consists of a nuclear reactor. Why? Because it has to create an atomic fission reaction or nuclear fission reaction in accordance with the Einstein mass energy equation, which is nothing but E is equal to mc square. And we required one moderator. It, re it reduces the speed of the neutrons without absorbing it. Material used for it is heavy water or beryllium. 
and the control rods were required. It regulates the energy release by absorbing neutrons. Material of control rod is either cadmium or boron. And we required an external sheet, as I told, since it generates a lot of amount of heat. To protect it from harmful effect of radiation, we required sheet. And coolant also we required. It absorbed heat from the reactor zone and supplied it to the steam generator. So basically, we can uh, we have gas coolant and liquid coolants. And again, we required a steam generator, absorb heat from the coolant and produce a steam. And a steam turbine, of course, we required to expand the steam, which can produce mechanical work. And the condenser also, you know, which can convert the vapor into water. And uh, also, we required a cooling tower. Heated water from condenser gets cooled by surrounding air circulation. And when coming to advantages of the nuclear power plant, large quantity of energy is released by very small amount of fuel. This is the uh, major advantage of the nuclear power plant. It avoids transportation and storage of the large amount of fuel. It does not cut, cause any air pollution. This plant requires very less space. Performance is also high. Reduces demand of consumable resources. While coming to its disadvantages, its capital cost is too high. Needs trained manpower. Without that, we cannot operate this system. So, and also, since we are using radioactive material, its waste disposal is a major problem, major hurdle. And a high degree of safety is required, and its cost of power generation is also very high. Thank you.